Now, welcome to people. I'm getting them all set and ready to roll. All right. Here we go. Testing, testing. Can you hear me well? Trans, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Give me a second. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You still saying good? Sorry, got you. All right, well, while we're waiting for Twins Inc. to get situated, guys, this is your girl, Miss I Speak Life, and this, of course, is the real deal versus how you feel. It's Friday, Friday, and we are super excited. Well, I'm super excited that it's Friday. Uh, you know, I have a pretty decent weekend, a lot of relaxation ahead of me. Had a long week. The boy turned 18. And when I say the boy, I mean my son. So um relaxing, coming down, glad the day is over. And um, yeah, so you guys know the routine. Come in, dust your feet off, get your drink if you got one, your notepad and pen. We're just going to go ahead and get into what we're getting into today. All right, I'm back here. I'm back here. All right, Miss uh, Speak Like, how you doing? I'm well. I'm well. I was just telling our good folks that I got a weekend of relaxation ahead of me. Oh, you say, so you, you got nothing planned or you got some plans, plans? No, no. The plan is to relax. Um, I have a a, bar, a birthday event that I was invited to, but I just think that I'm going to go ahead and send a nice little cash app over. <laughs> and not, <laughs> not even expose myself to the nonsense. I've been seeing a lot of folks in, in large groups with no mask on. And I do know that the numbers, you know, with this COVID thing, they're going up. It's not really being publicized. So I said, no, no, no. I will be relaxing this weekend. You know, I I was all up in arms all week and everything like that with my son's birthday coming up, him turning 18. I think I had more uh, energy toward it than he did. Yeah, you did. You know, <laughs> borderline ex- anxiety attacks over here. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? But everything worked out well. He was really pleased with his birthday and all that he received. Um, and, you know, he made his first grown man decision to cut his hair. So what? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a big deal right there. <laughs> when you say cut, like a trim up or do you no, cut all cut his it. hair off? He cut all his hair off. He doesn't have his locks anymore. Oh, his man. locks are in the bag. He so unlocked his superhuman strength him. right there. What are you doing out here? Well, he he kept his superhuman strength in the bag just in case. In the bag, okay. Because they could be reattached. Right, so, I know that part. You know, oh. so he's like, let me see. You know, he's looking to see if he'll step into, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't really know. But <laughs> he made the choice to get a haircut, and he likes it. And I said, oh, no, I like it. And he's still away. Like, eh, if I don't like it in another month or so, I'll go ahead and, um, you know, reattach my locks. But he likes it so far. So, yeah, shout out to my son making his first first grown man decision on his birthday. He got it cut on his birthday. Okay. Okay. So it was the first barbershop. Uh, well, not the first bar. It was actually the second barbershop situation in his entire life. He had one shape up one time. I think he was maybe like six or five, between four and six, and he acted a fool. Never did it again. <laughs> He's had locks in his head since he was about two. So this was like major, major. He's 18, got a haircut. I was there. You know, <clears throat> his, um, you know, stepfather was there. So it was good. It was good for him. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. Well, congratulations to you as well, because in the day, having an 18-year-old and, you know, surviving Black graduating all of that is a big mm-hmm. deal so hey we, we take these small milestones as we as we keep growing you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so uh, yeah you know you have locks um twins so how do you think you feel just real quick sidebar got would my, you cut yours oh man listen i, I just started the journey so at, at the age of 38 because of the pandemic i decided you know what i'm not going to the barbershop for a year now let me start this uh 
this journey. So I'm still early in it. I still got the baby lives going on, but I don't see myself kind of no time soon unless, you know, because I am up there in age, it start falling out. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 I got you. <laughs> but right now I'm good. I like them. And we'll, we'll see how the journey goes. So, you know, we here. Yeah, I think I love, I, I like Locks too. I told him that. I like the way he looks with his haircut and I like the, the demeanor he's taking on with it. Uh-huh. So I'm fine with it, but I am like a lot person myself and back when he was younger he used to be really it's not called dreads mom it's called locks oh well excuse me okay. gotcha but gotcha. now he's just like it, it, you know he's good so yes relaxation for Ms. i speak life i think i deserve that after this week so jacuzzi in the um <laughs> in the uh near future and just um maybe a possible road trip to virginia some relaxation and that's it. Gotcha. That's it. All right. You ready to get into this? How oh, about yeah. you? You good? I'm great. I'm Gucci. I'm on spring break this whole week, so I've been chilling, relaxing, getting some stuff done around the house, about to hang up another TV here in the studio. So I think things are really good my way. So I'm 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 Gucci. I'm great. That's good. That's good. It's always good when you're around positive, like minded folks and we all progressing. There's no Debbie Doubters and there's no woe is me. Willies, whatever. Another name. Let's start with a W. <laughs> so that's great. All right, twins, let's go ahead and get into this. We're on a date, but you're on the phone. What category are you? Are you that food guy? Are you the friend zone guy? Are you the booty call guy? What other categories are there? We should have started with that. What are the categories? Let's talk about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, so this topic, um, where did this topic even come from? It was last week. We was talking about what, relationships. How did we get to this we topic? We talked about hygiene. Hygiene. And pet peeves. Oh, yeah. Pe- there we go. There we go. How we got to this topic today about which category that you in. This came from the conversation of pet peeves and deal breakers. And how we got to this point right here of the um, a deal breaker for me was that if we're on a date, right, and once again, I'm 39 years old. So when I was dating, I was really dating, meaning that we planned things out. I set reservations and it was a whole day event. So this is late 90s, early 2000. So with that being said, if we're on a date and while it's just me and you on a one on one day, intimate, you know, intimate, intimate time. Right. Trying to learn, get to know you. Trying to see if this if this thing will really be just a booty call type of thing, or this might be a relationship <laughs> that we got going on, right? Because me personally, um, if I if I ask you on a date, that means I, I'm I'm be- I'm investing in you, right? I want to get to know you. If I'm, I'm if I'm not taking you on a date and you just come through whatever, then that's what it is. So if I take you on a date, that means I I like you. So how we got to this topic today is that if we're on a date, right? This me and you one on one doesn't matter where we at restaurant, and I'm I'm trying to sit down and we're having a conversation. I'm talking to you whatever, and the whole time you're there, you look down at your phone, you're texting, you're smiling, you're giggling, but you're not smiling, giggling, and texting with me, right? So I'm like, that's a problem there. Now the first time on a date, I understand because if you're not sure of me, whatever, you want to text your friends, hey, I'm out with so and so. Okay, we out here, we doing this. Uh, you know, you might be getting coached. Ask girl, ask them this question or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I get the first time, right? It's that nervous time. But after the first date, and if the first date goes with no hitch, then y'all talking throughout the whole week, whatever. So by date two and three, y'all don't talk on the phone. Y'all don't did X, Y, Z in between that time frame. So by the second and third date, if you're still on the phone the whole time, you're laughing, you're giggling, that's a deal breaker for me because you're not respecting my time. And secondly, um, you're not putting me in that category as the food guy. So that's how we got there. <laughs> and the food guy right, is the guy that... Life was like, who is the food guy? Yeah. And how did I not get the memo? Right. Thank goodness for a uh, platinum hand. She came through that day, right? And uh-huh. she left. She dropped a, a little voice note. Let us know what the food guy was all about. And no, not no. She just confirmed that there was a food guy mm-hmm. because she said you were trying to give away. You know, you was giving it up. Uh, yeah, well, no, no. What I, I think know. that was uh, just uh, just Les who said that one. Say I'm giving up too much oh, information. Okay, okay, yeah. Right, because yeah, you telling too much. Yeah, I'm telling too much, right? Because 
fellas, if you don't know out there, ladies have a Rolodex of men. And some of these no, Rolodex no, no, no. dudes can be the dude who's the fool guy. The mean, the guy that she know every time she talks to, to this particular guy, he's either going to take her out to eat, he's going to buy her food, they don't have a good conversation, and that's it. You're only good for going out in public, having some food, chilling with life friends, whatever, and that's it. It will never get past that point as far as you going out and having well, dinner. Well, here's the problem I have with the negative connotation with that, right? Okay, go ahead. There are some relationships where that is what we do. I mean, that's girlfriends, too. You you and this one girlfriend, y'all go on vacation together all the time. But that's pretty much it. Like, you're not really talking to her about the everyday ins and outs of life. Y'all are just really cool. Y'all have a great time hanging out and y'all vacate together. You know, every once in a while you check in on each other, make sure everything's good. But definitely not in like daily conversations, not weekly meetups or anything like that. If you guys go a month or so without seeing each other, it's no big deal. So why would that be different if you could have that relationship with a, a woman as a woman and a man? You know, you, I'm sure you guys you have some male friends the same. What's the issue? A friend is a friend is a friend. No. This might be another conversation. <laughs> this, this might be another topic. I think I think we talked about this already, but men and women cannot be friends. Oh my god. Yeah. So this might be another topic, but but the reason why I say that because most men, not not saying all, is never absolute, ladies and gentlemen, is never absolute. But yes, most men cannot be friends with ladies. Um, at what? Yeah. At least at one point, we're gonna try to shoot our shot. Especially if we're attracted to you. Oh, we're gonna try to shoot our oh. shot. Point blank. Period. This is a fact. This is not a. Uh, no, this is a real deal. So that's why I say that men and women can be friends. So if a guy is taking you out to eat, showing y'all a really good time, and he's taking out to good places, I'm not saying y'all going Chick Fil A. That's not a date. No, not at all, ladies. To be clear, I'm talking about he taking you to restaurants. Where you have to sit down, sometimes wait, and you might be there for an hour and a half. You're having drinks, whatever. You're paying for the food, all that. He's taking you to nice places, too. See, those are ones that, in the guy's mind, he thinks he's on a date. He thinks he's building towards something. He believes that I might have a chance here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, we have some listeners. I'm interested to hear what these people have to say because for me, Ms. I Speak Life, I'm still very conflicted as I was when we had the topic is guys can be friends with females or, you know, can the opposite sex be friends because we all know that I have friends. I have male friends. I have male friends that I consider to be best friends that I'm not physically, emotionally, in no way, shape, or form attracted to outside of our friendship vibe, that lane that we have shared for many of years, like no other way. And Twins Inc., you know, you share that you have, a, you know, at least one person that you could see in that same way. You know, there's no physical attraction, no emotional attraction, no hidden agenda, uh -huh. nothing. You almost see this person as family now. Right, right, And that's, right. to me, what they really become. They become family. So with that being said... Who's to say that you can't go on nice nights? Like, me and my cousin would do this, too. Um, we would just go to the city, you know, or something like that. We would want to do something extra crazy or whatever, and we would do that together. And he's a guy and I'm a girl, you know, but we are cousins for real, too. But I feel like family, that's not family. Those friends that become family, it's the same as one of those cousins. That's how I see it. Uh Okay. No. Family. Right, know I'm conflicted. Hopefully <laughs> family somebody, is different, know, right? Somebody else chime in. <laughs> family mm -hmm. is different. I'm talking about the people who is not family. And and believe it or not, people who are so-called your brother and so-called so sisters, they be crushing on each other sometimes mm -hmm. too. Let's call it what it is. There's plenty of times when the, the so-called brother has been around since day one, but he been in that friend zone. See, that's another category, fellas. The friend zone. You were you really want to stay out that category. You want to stay out that friend zone. But the zone. friend zone is for the friends. Mm -mm. That's where they belong. Yeah. They belong in the friend zone. They're not the intimate zone. 
and, and this is for some women, they have the sugar daddy, since we're talking about the categories. Then you have some women who have the friend zone. And then you have the maybe the the uh, fellowship, you know, different organizations, like if you're on the sports team or debate or you're in the church or something like that. Then you have those relationships, right? You have your work. I'm not even going to say it. Never mind. Forget it. Nah, say it. Nah, uh-uh. <laughs> don't, don't, don't bring it up <laughs> and then just stop. Because then you're going to say, oh, no, can't be no husband, wife, no work wives or husbands. I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I digress because these things do exist, right? People do have those work wives and work husbands. But outside of that stuff that you're not supposed to do, you could have very healthy work relationships, right? These are your work colleague friends. No? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you no. can have work colleagues, right? And 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 mind you, if it's just if, if it's just work, then it's work, right? Meaning that you only talk when it's during work hours, you have phone conversations, and that's it, right? There's nothing outside of that period. You don't get, there's no texts in the morning, there's no how you doing, wait, what's wait, going wait, on with you. Wait, 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 y'all don't go out for drinks? Why, hold on, why are we going, I mean, if it's, if we're going out for <laughs> drinks, hold on, if we're going on drink, it's going to be like a group activity. It ain't going to just be just me and you. It's going to be yeah, me yeah, and you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like a group, that, of, a group of work friends. Like, that, that's different. We're out with a group public. I'm talking about okay. when it's one-on-one, just me and you. Just me and you. Just me and you, one-on-one. All right, so we all go out as a group. It's about four or five of us. All right, then Becky leaves and Johnny leaves and Bob leaves and David leaves, and now it's just you and Ricky. Does that count? Or you and Ricky got to leave, too. Y'all. It just can't be where y'all are. Well, if it's me, it'll be me and Raquel. Not you and Ricky. You yeah, and I, you know, I've got to put it out there. It'll be me and Ricky. Because I'll be out, too. All right, y'all, I'm out, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you and Raquel. Raquel, Renisha, whatever. It ain't Ricky, though. Right? <laughs> Let's be clear. I mean, like I said, if it's just me and we just chilling, whatever. Now, hopefully, we, didn't, we haven't had that too many drinks where... We're a little tipsy, right? We just really love a head conversation, good conversation. We're just chilling top out. It ain't nothing. And that could happen. About three or four times, though, doing mm-hmm. that, that's a problem. Three or four times now, and this means you. I need the you. listeners to chime in because I'm conflicted. I'm really not okay with this. Friends, opposite sex can't be friends. I want this to be able to be a thing. It's I a, want us to be able to be friends. So you telling me you don't have no guy friends that you know you can call right now who just want to take you out to eat. Just happy to be just to be happy in your presence. You don't got one guy you call right now. Well, like, no, 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 no. You can't you can't use that. You can't use that because why people is that? appreciate being and because people, not just guys, but men and women appreciate being in our presence. As you know, there are people I believe we both know. That if we were to call right now, they would love to go to lunch or brunch or dinner or anywhere with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. But also, we both can say that, and it's not because it's some some attraction. It could be men and women. I think it just depends on you. If you're a nice person that people enjoy your company. I consider myself to be a decent person. No, I'm not the nicest person. You know, I don't come in a room like plus me, like one of our other counterparts, you know, does. But I'm nice enough where people might enjoy spending time with me and wanting to eat or go out, or, you know. So, yes, there are certainly people that Miss I Speak Life can call, if that be the case, and say, hey, let's go out to dinner. Yes. And any of these people that you call and say, hey, let's go to dinner, has any of these people at one point has taken a shot at you respectfully? I don't think so. I I don't know. Somebody else talked to Twins Angel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I digress. All right, listen. Oh, God. All right. She, she over there playing the fifth over there, so... The other part of this conversation as well is for the guys, too. It's not just the women. It's also just the guys, too. So the guys, we have our categories, too. I did, At first, I didn't think we had categories, but we do. But our categories <laughs> is still different from the women's categories, right? 
Because it doesn't matter which category as a man category we put you in, we still get to smash. Point blank, period. Whoa. See, with ladies, they got categories, but they got stipulations. Oh, I will. We only go on. We only go out to eat. Oh, you only pay my bills. You're this guy. We had those type of things too, but we get full benefits of every single one of those. Like for example, um, guys have the girl that um, only called only, only ones we call only at nighttime. Meaning that she's a nice person. She may not be the best looking person, but she's someone I'll never take out in public and will never have a title. But she come over, we have a good time, watch movies, you know, enjoy each other's company. But that's her role. And we have great understanding there. We have ladies that um Wait, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So are you telling me mm-hmm. that these women are in full awareness that they are not to be seen in public? They are your Netflix flicks and chill booty butt buddies. That'll be a fact. That uh, uh, five hundred mm-hmm. Yes. That is correct. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yes, that's what exactly what it is. <laughs> see, okay, keep going. See, uh, and, I, and I think that um, now with most men, not all men, but most men, but one thing we, we, we try to make things clear is that we kind of had these conversations up front. So you know what it is. And then as one time you step out of line, I'm done. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Point blank not period. Out of line. Out of line, mm-hmm. right? Like you don't, you, you, you don't, you don't, you don't text me during the day. You don't call me during the day. Your time frame between between this time frame and not and that time frame, it's just that simple. So once again, that's the late night creep, whatever, whatever, whatever. But that's her role. Um, we do have the girls that, um, that's going to break the bank on us. Meaning the ones we take out all the times, going to break our pockets. She always gonna go to movies. She wanna go to mm. go shopping. She looks good. Um, we really don't really want to be with her because you know she's a headache. But we, but you know, what I'm saying we like we, we like the the pretty arm candy. Um, you know, like I said, we still get the box, so we still get that too. But it's gonna break the bank. That's the girl that's gonna be like you know what I'm saying. Oh, I need some new shoes. Okay, here you go. Oh, I want to go to the movies. Okay, let's go. Oh, this movie came out. All right, let's go. We got that girl, but she knows her role too. Now she does. Now she sometimes this particular woman will will, will have, I would say, high priority as far as you know. What I'm saying she want to, she can call me, text me anytime, pretty much. But she has her own thing going on as well. Just like I got my own thing going on as well too. We don't do no pop ups. Not my house. Not at her house. Mm. We have that dialogue when we, mm. when we when we when we're when we're in each other's presence. It's just me and you, right? Once you leave X, Y, Z, all right, cool. You do you, I didn't mean. Full understanding, perfect, boom. That's what it is, right? That's the arm candy girl, um, but not the one we take. But not the one we take home to the mother. No, not her. No, 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 because she's all out there. Now, the one we do take to the mother, right? She does have the potential of being the long term special one, right? Mm. And um, she's the girl that, um, and this is wrong, but I'm saying what it is. She's the one girl that we kind of string along, right? Meaning that she's willing to do whatever because she wants to be with me, right? But I'm not in the place yet to be like, I want to be serious with you. But we can still kick it, have fun. I'm going to respect you, X, Y, Z, whatever. But, and you're very cool. You have the motherly traits, very beautiful, someone I can look at like, you know what, I could possibly have a future with this lady. But right now, I'm just not ready because <laughs> I'm still trying to be a young hoe. And this is me. This is the, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the Twins Inc. back back in the day. And day. This ain't me now. I'm just letting you know what it was because it, the game's still being played now. It may be being played a little differently, but the game is still being played. It's just that simple. I pray it's being played a lot differently because... <laughs> but at the Jeez. end of the day... With all categories, as far as the most men's categories, we still win it in all categories. We we have the full <laughs> control of the game. I still get to smash whoever I want when I want. Just that simple. 
my god! But with the ladies, what she won't talk about was another. If anyone's listening, if you're a lady, please chime in because you do understand how this game is being played. But I know for a fact, ladies got guys that's only going out to eat. The ones only pay the bills. The ones she bring around her parents during, um, you know, holiday time. You know, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving. You know. Maybe the little high school sweetheart that they were supposed to be together, and they'll keep bringing them around. And then she got her her thug dude. Trust me, it's out there. And fellas, oh, you, not the thug dude. You know what? You know what? The, the, you know the the the, the 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 street hard, con, you know the swag. I won't say street dude. I say swag. So why did you? The one you don't keep around. You don't you don't bring around no one. Right. You don't even bring around no one. You just go to the mall with that one. Mm-hmm. Just go on vacation with. Yeah, that one. yeah. The, 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 the one who fly you out. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that one, him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that. Yep. Yeah, I need help. I, I this category for me, I mean, this topic for me, I don't. I am not the one to really ask. Uh, I have very short windows of like dating where I dated, and I feel like dating is dating multiple people, right? You're going out on dates mm-hmm. because I've been in long term relationships, so I didn't have a lot of dating. Um, that happened. And when I did go on dates, I didn't feel like it wasn't categorized. It was just like, okay, I'll meet a guy, you know, somewhere they'll offer me out on a date. If I was interested in the dialogue that we had over the phone, then I accept the date. If not, I declined the date, period. And if the date went well, okay, we in New York, we're going a horse carriage ride. But the whole time you're talking about money and you're talking about you know almost as if this broke your pockets or something you know that be the case then no i'm not interested in another date or if we go out and we do a helicopter ride this is fine you know and the whole time you just talking about you know wanting to spend more time and you know do another date like this has been great and we're having great dialogue then yeah we consider another date and then you know progressively it either continues or it dies off but that's pretty much it for me. So there's no sugar daddies. There's no hood daddies. There's no booty daddies. There's no shopping daddies. There's none of those. I don't even I don't even know if I've really ever called a man daddy or zaddy or none of that stuff. Now, but now, I will say this. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, Miss I Speak Life, am conflicted. I believe in myself that men and women can be platonic friends. That the men in my life that I have developed real relationship with, real friendship bonds with, they are what I would consider my family at this point. They've been in my life for all of these years, and I'm not attracted to them in no way, shape, or form, in no other way other than we have great friendship. And that does include going out. Um, it could include vacationing. You know, it hasn't because, like I said, I was in relationships. But um, as a single woman now, yeah, it could. Like, hey, let's go on vacation together or whatever. It could include all of that. Actually, the last time I got, I went on vacation with my girlfriend, it was our mutual friends were there with us. But we were, you know, it was a group of four of us. No, we're not doing anything. Okay. We're all single. All right. I got an email here because, I mean, uh, some people is working because it is 3, you know, it is 3 right, p.m. Right. Going to work hours, but uh, one of our friends, uh, just Les, Leslie, you know, you know, one of our peoples. Yeah. She okay. said, uh, first off, she said this is a fun topic. Thank you, I agree. And she said there's lots of different categories. There's friend zone, the fool guy, sugar daddy, the reliable guy to help <clears throat> around the house, right? So Mr. Handyman, the work hubby, the smash dude, so the one who's you know the, slanging out D, and then then she said at the end. So we can be friends, but she's very sure that some of them wants more. Thank you, Leslie, for your uh, your information that you provided to us. Thank you. We appreciate it. And that's true. Now, because they want more, does that have any bearings on the actual relationship, though? Now, that this is what I'm saying. All right, Ms. I Speak Life meets a person. And we engage. We develop a friendship. Here's a year later. I can tell that you would like it to be more. You haven't been a grown man and you haven't said that out your mouth. So I'm unattracted at that point. I'm not definitely not going to give you no day or no time of day. But we have friendship. Would 
that mean that the friendship needs to end once the person is aware that the other person may like them on some level, not even knowing what that level is or not? Or do you just continue being friends? And if that person never says anything, the most that relationship will ever reach is a friendship. Right? That's a good question. I mean, but it really depends on the individual. I mean, some people might be okay with that. I, that's, I mean, I wouldn't be able to answer Isn't that question. Is that what the friendships are? He said deflection. You said no, no, I'm not saying no because you wouldn't it, be able to answer that question. I mean, because it really depends. So for okay, I can't answer that as a guy. Um, I'll say about ninety nine point nine percent. If if I had a same list that I just read out to you for a female, and somebody wanted more, um, I'll be like okay, and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna get out of it. I'm not gonna end. I'm not gonna end a uh, friendship or food ship or whatever category of the person, I'm not going to end it because they want more. I'm like, that's, that's natural. Most people going to want more, especially if, if the other person, if the service or I call it service, but whatever service you provide to the <laughs> other person and you're doing a good job by it, people like to, people like to feel appreciated. People like to feel good. So if you're doing something good for somebody, yeah, they're going to want more. If, 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 if I, if I know every time I'm with you, I'll never be hungry. Every time I see you, I'm always, always going to be full, right? That's a plus. So if I know I'm always going to be full, um, full, never hungry, what else can that you do? so sad. <laughs> what else can I get from you if I'm around you all the time, right? So what type of what type of mindset is that as a person? Like, well, how are you not eating? How are you not taking care of yourself that you really just call a person to go eat? I don't understand that. That's why I'm conflicted because it does not apply. So I'm going to do what you say. If it don't apply, let it fly. Let it fly. It's flying. Well, I don't get that. I mean, um, but, let's, but, just don't make but let's be clear. There's a lot of people out there who can cook and fend for themselves, but who doesn't want to spend someone else's money? I mean, that's that goes both yeah, ways. Even that, that's still, that's still, the, uh-uh. see, that's where pride comes in, and that's why God is working on me on pride because I'm you know, there's no way in the world I'm going to sit here and, no, mm-mm. I can't work on that. Is that something I should be doing that I don't know about? I mean, it depends. Is <laughs> is any of those categories for you? <laughs> I don't feel like they're for me. I, I well, guess what? I mean, listen. So torn up. <laughs> I mean, of course, this is not for everyone, right? Um, we're not promoting saying you have to be in someone's category. We're not saying you need to be a person to have a category. But I'm just letting you know that it's out there. And yes. most men out there who who may be mature enough can understand that. You know what? I think I'm in a friend zone, and I need, I need to get the hell out of it. <laughs> like, ladies, mm. if you ever been, if you had a guy that you was, you know, cool with all of a sudden, and y'all always kicking it, you know, kicking it, having a good time, whatever, and all of a sudden, he just ghosts you, meaning that he don't talk to you no more, he don't call you no more, and y'all didn't have no argument, no disagreement. What happened was he realized he was actually put in the friend zone, and he like, oh, I don't want to be here. So he dipped. That's what happened. And most cases, when he dipped, I mean, you like you wonder why he left, but you don't care enough to find out why he left because you don't reach out to him talking about, hey, where you been? I miss you. None of that. You're like, oh, well, he gone, which reconfirms unconsciously you put him in the friend zone. You didn't know it, but unconsciously you did, and then you didn't care enough to call or check up on him because you never reached back out to him. I think I was in the friend zone one time, and I didn't know I, didn't know I was in the friend zone until my older brother said, hey, bro, you know you're in the friend zone, right? I said, really? I said, yeah. I mean, how many times you been to our house? Y'all laying in bed together and y'all ain't do nothing? I said, yeah, we're just kicking it. I said, yeah, bro, I should put you in the friend zone. Man, I was pooing after that. And I said, years later, hey, how you been? Oh, I've been good. You know, it was good to see her and all, but yeah. She didn't reach out to me like, how you been? What's going on? Where you been, friend? None of that. Because in her mind, I was just, in, I was just a friend. Me, I looked at her like, man, she's attractive. She was bad. I want to be with that. I want to hit that. But I was trying to be the the nice guy, trying to be gentle, trying to be, don't come off as a, you know, the, you know, pushy. Now, you know, I play the cool role, but the cool role gets you put in that friend zone. So, therefore, I had to get out of that really quick. Just saying. Mm. So, 
hypothetically speaking, you would have been fine with that situation had your friend not said you were in some type of friend zone. Well, because I didn't know. So, but yeah, I would have been fine with it because I didn't right. know. So you right. was fine. Yeah, you I was cool. You weren't hurt. You weren't nah. being hurt. She wasn't hurt. She wasn't being hurt. You guys were okay with where you guys were. Yes. 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 I yes. think that that's the thing. I yes. think that that should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. That, I, yeah. No, no. That, that, yeah, that's that's okay. I mean, I wanted more, but at that time frame, I wasn't mature enough in my state where I was as a young man. So I was, I probably been there for a while because I really wanted to smash. You know what I'm saying? I really liked this girl. I thought she was fine. I really wanted to be with her. But, you know, I, I guess I didn't have the heart at that time frame, right? I'm calling what it is. So I left out that once. My older brother told me, said, yeah, bro, you're in the friend zone. I'm like, damn, I am. <laughs> and but Who's to say that did you make her aware that you want, wanted more? Well, and th- that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I blame myself, too, because I didn't, I was, I, I, like I just said, I was the nice guy at that time frame. I wasn't trying to be pushy. I was just being cool, you know. You know what I'm saying? That was my fault. If so was, maybe on her end, she didn't think that you wanted that. So that's why you were friend zone. Not so much that she purposely friend zoned you. Uh, I get that too, but you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're adults. If you want something, you're going to go for it at the end of the day. So apparently she, even though I liked her, she didn't make no attempts. I made attempts. I reached out, came through. I tried to stay the night. I, you know, I, I did a little stuff gentle enough, but not be too aggressive, but I did little things and I got denied. I'm like, yeah, okay, this ain't happening because any other time I'm in smash by now. And my game wasn't working right now. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, this is, something's going, something ain't right here. By now, I'm busy doing my thing. Right now, I'm getting blocked, but she's still cool, and you know. But it's just like, yeah, because I, I was, because like I said, I was bringing up food every time I came over and saw her. I was, you know, taking her places where she needed to go somewhere because she didn't have a car at that time frame. So I'm like, okay, yeah, all right, she she needed brother. Okay, cool. I'm staying to the house like two o'clock, but. I'm never staying the night. And now, you know, fellas, in your early 20s, past 12 o'clock, shit, past one, um, yeah, past 12 o'clock, you're the girl's house, and you're still in your PJ, and she's wearing her, her booty shorts. I mean, I'm just saying, ain't no ain't no much talking, and much many movies you can watch at that time frame. I'm just saying. And But, yeah, she'll send me home, like, all right, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm like, oh, work. Oh, you got to go. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, this is this is this is new for me. Okay, maybe I, maybe she's playing hard to get. But like I said, I blame myself because I wasn't as confident as I was I am now. You understand what I'm saying? But she didn't she didn't throw no flags nothing at me either. So once I did, like I said, she never reached back to me because I treat I treat her good. So meaning that she didn't call and say how you been, I haven't talked to you, I haven't seen you in a while, how's the family? There was never those conversations. Is always me reaching out. So if I'm always the one always reaching out, I know I need to step back. And that could be, so fellas, don't be the guy that's always reaching out all the time. Don't be the guy who's always bringing food over. Don't be the Captain Suva because sometimes you might be in that friend zone, food guy. Just saying, you, you, you might be in a category that you don't want to be in. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm. That's deep. That is pretty deep. So if you find yourself in one of these zones, friend zone, food, wait, friend zone, food zone, and what was the other one? Also a bunch of them. Sugar Daddy, the Work Hubby, Smash Dude. Ooh, Work Hubby. Now, hubbies. mind you, those, other, those <laughs> other categories is good. Like the, the Smash Dude, he good. The only, time, the only time the Smash Dude is not good is if he gets sprung. Mm-hmm. And, he, and he might turn crazy a little bit. But in most cases, he's good because he's getting what he's wanting, and he and he do whatever you want. He, all you gotta do is come through and drop it off, and shit. The other dude, the the friend zone twain, the, the friend the friend zone twins who came earlier, he brought the food, so I'm gonna bring no food. I'm the dessert. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm saying too much out here, lazy. I'm I'm, I'm telling y'all. Mm-mm. My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, no. Y'all already know, Ms. I Speak Life is completed, so that's just that on that. Well, However, listen, this, this, this ain't getting... I can the... see where these okay, categories, go mm-hmm. you know, where they stem from. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think it's still very, you know, subjective in terms of the intention behind it, because we do have women that live by that pretty privilege, right? And I think those are the type of women 
that will just have a guy just for meals. Like, that's crazy. No, or, and I don't even want to say that. Is that wrong to say? Maybe pretty privileged women do more. I don't know. And when I say pretty pri- privileged, let me just explain. I'm saying women who just use their beauty. Because I think that's what you were saying. You were really attracted to the woman. Yeah. So they just use their beauty to get what they want. Mm-hmm. They don't, with a, with that no real, um, a, no real sus- substance or no desire to really build anything. They just want what they want and then they use their looks for that. That's what I mean when I say pretty pri- privileged. So those women exist, right? And those are the type of women that I think would be the women okay with the sugar daddies, right? They use these men for their money. But also with that, look what they have to do, though. You know, look what you have to deal with. Most times when you hear sugar daddy, you think some old, oh, my God. You think real bad, (laughs) you know, oh. And he want to take you out, and he wants you to rub his stomach or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what could go on, but... I just couldn't do it. And yeah, I think those are the type of women that are okay with sugar daddies, okay with just having a man. I can see somebody now having a whole calendar. Okay, Peter on Monday, Johnny on Tuesday. Oh, Bobby, he took me out somewhere really nice. So Bobby's going to be on Wednesday and on Friday. That's craziness. <laughs> well, also, let's, 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 let's not, let's, let's not forget crazy. and let's not forget that the ladies that fall in the category that they don't want to be alone. So they settle. They so settle for they, they sell what? for they sell for whatever. So sometimes it may not be the pretty, you know, pretty uh pretty privilege. It could be the woman just like, you know, I'm tired of being out here in these streets. Now I'm ready to settle. So I'm just gonna, you know what I'm saying, if a guy if Date he, anybody? Date anybody or I'm gonna let the guy I'm I'm gonna settle with him only coming over just a smash only and that's it. I'm gonna sell because I don't wanna be alone. Yeah. So it, it it's just not pretty privileged as well too. Wait, when you say settle, I'm confused because if you just if you guys are just hooking up, that's not settle. That's just where you are. You don't you're not in a relationship. No. So you guys are just hooking up. Are no. you saying that a woman that knows that she's in that category for the man? A woman, yeah. Like how you said, I'm speaking. I'm speaking from the morning, a man's point of view. A man's point of view. This will be a okay, woman. It's, it's, I'm speaking from the man's side. So this will be a woman who uh, a lady who's not uh, getting the attention. <laughs> As the pretty, as the pretty privilege, right? So she don't got a hundred guys hauling at her, right? But she can have her stuff together. She can have money. She can have her house. She can do everything she need to be doing, right? But she don't get the attention that um, the pretty privilege receive. So with that being said, when a dude comes by, pop in, you know, give her a little bit of attention, he can do whatever you want. He can come over, eat all the time. She takes him out everywhere. She pays for everything because she don't want to. She don't want to. She don't want to be alone, one. And two, she don't because she has no one else to talk to, she's going to let him do whatever he want to do. And that falls in the category of settling because she can't get no one else because there's no one else sliding her DM. There's no one else giving her attention. That's what I'm saying, settling. Does that make sense now? Yeah, because she's not getting attention mm-hmm. from any other place. So even though this guy is not really giving her attention, right? he'll take her out. Okay, yeah. So those type of people have to exist for these categories to even make sense. So the guys are able to find a woman that's willing to do whatever these categories mean, and the women are willing to find men to do whatever these categories um, mean. Yeah, that makes sense. (sighs) That makes sense. (laughs) You know... Who, wait, who was the message from that you read? Was that um? Uh, that was Leslie. That was Le- Leslie. Yeah, just I think. I okay, we that. need Leslie to chime back in, right? Because I need some help. Wait, or is any women listening? Platinum hands. I saw started listening. So, can women and men be platonic friends? Um, I'm determined that the answer could be yes without being in one of these categories in a negative like you know not the booty call not the sugar daddy not the um just going out to eat not using them to eat not using them for anything like that meaning you and your friend go out and maybe one time he pays the next time you may pay you know that type of relationship um you you know you guys have a friendship oh just because i'm here somewhere and i saw something that you mentioned you needed and i just grabbed it for you and these are like little things. I'm not talking about a fifteen hundred dollar trip to Cali. I'm talking about maybe a five dollar. Um, 
I don't know. Charger or something for five below. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, you know, something silly like that. And you're like, oh, yeah, he did mention. Let me grab this. But hey, bro, I got you this. You know, uh, I'll send it to you. Like, you guys, this does exist, right? It so does. Give him some time. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. And it's fine. It doesn't mean that he's waiting to shoot a shot. Maybe he don't want to shoot a shot. Maybe he's not attracted to you in that way, and you're not attracted to him in that way. But you guys both enjoy each other's company. Yeah, all of those things do do happen. So I'm not going to say it's just one in one scenario, and that's it. No, you do have you do have a very 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 small group of guys <laughs> that is in that certain category. <laughs> very small. And, and and I tell ladies this: if if you don't believe me, test it. If you don't believe that every all right, guy, do you think it's okay? Go ahead. I, wait, wait. I'll wait for you then. I was gonna say if you think guys out there don't want to shoot their shot at you, test them. Now, be careful now because once you once you open that door, it's not going back. But I'm trust me, I promise you. If you could text any of your test them how te, if you test any if you text any one of your guy friends. And say, hmm, what can you say? Um, See, you know, you about to open up stuff that ain't even there. <laughs> now you about to have them thinking, hmm, maybe, I don't know. I mean, it's there. Uh -uh. It, listen, I, it's, it's just, listen, all we need is a little crack in the door, and we busting our door wide open. If you, ee, boom, I'm in there. That's messed up if you do it and you really don't like that dude like that, though. Well, that's what I'm and saying. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's all I needed. That's all he and needed. now what? And now y'all friendship is ruined forever. True, but I'm just, but I'm letting you know, but that's, that's, I agree. So be, if you play this game, be careful, but I'm letting you know, if you crack that door open and he's a man-man, oh, he going to take that. He going to step all the way up in there like, hey, what's going on? Um, You say you need to help with some plumbing? I got you. What, what you need? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna okay, take. I'll see you with the plumbing. You know what they say? You take an inch in the mile. Oh, we got a message. Gonna play that. <laughs> All right. Go play that. I'm here. What's up? What's the question? What y'all got going on? That's Leslie. So go ask your question. Uh, you are. I told her you had okay. a question for. Her. I'm glad you're here. Now, is it possible for men and women? You have a platonic friendship without being in any of the categories that we name. Matter of fact, any of the categories that you name. <laughs> she had the grocery list of categories. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. And Twins is saying right now we're having the conversation to say, if you want to test this out, if you want to put it to the test, Twins Inc. say, go ahead, pick up your phone, send a text message to any of your guy friends. And just, I don't even know what, what type of message you could send, but just something to elude that you're interested on a deeper level than you've shown so far. I would, I couldn't do it. I couldn't even play that game. Right, because you know they're going to blow your phone up. I don't up. even know. <laughs> they're going to blow your phone up, and that's the point I'm trying to make. I don't know if they'll blow my phone up or they won't respond at all, but either way, I'm not trying to find out. Nope. <laughs> they may respond like, girl, you nope. tripping. Like, you may, listen, you might get two. Here's a hit response you may get. You may respond saying, like, are you okay? Two? Mm -hmm. Really? Two? Girl, I've been waiting forever for you to, to, to open. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, I can, I can, I've been feeling the same way for you for years, right? That was one of the two messages yeah. you're going to get. Like, are you drunk? Are you capping right now? All right, so that might be the first message from anyone. And then it's what comes after that. You're right. Or, or you said that's going to be, the first message is going to be that, oh, yeah, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. My whole life. I've been waiting for you, girl. I've been crushing on you since 12th grade. That's funny. And now, then, I had a person tell me that they've had, they were interested in me for quite some time. However, they're not pushy, you know, so they didn't want to say anything. But I was upset. I was offended. I was really like, what? Well, and that's why sometimes most men don't want to say something because if there is a good relationship, we don't want to mess that up. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, if, it's a, if we have a really Wait, good relationship. You said they don't want to say something because what? Because they don't want to mess that friendship up. 
know what I'm saying? Like, if I say something, you know, to kind of flirty or whatever, and then you don't receive it well, guess what? Our friendship is done at this point now. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the friendship is not messed up. It's just, I don't want to hear that. After, like, I guess that was, my thing is, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear, we've been, we've been friends for this long time, six years, four years, you know, any length of time where I, I would question the entire friendship at that point. And that's what I did. I was like, what is this? All right, well, if that's how you feel, guess what? Like, you've been keeping it to yourself all of these years? Continue to keep it to yourself. You my homie, you my friend. Where are we going to eat next week? Because I don't got time. <laughs> they you going to Toronto, ask me where we're going to eat. So, so first, so you denied them. Yeah, D. like, where we going? Where Hold we on. going to eat? We back Hold at on. our regular before, schedule. <laughs> before you hit play, I'm going to tell you exactly what you just did. You just now, you just now took them out of the friend zone. Right, you took him out of the friend zone mm-hmm. and dropped his ass right in the food zone, guy. Cause you just said what well, we're going to eat like normal schedule now. So he know he's he's definitely out the friend zone now. He now he's the food guy now. You know you just did that right, just right there. No, no, no. Yeah, no, you just no. did it. I'm you said we're going. What's the normal schedule? My food. I can pay for my own food. We go. We have food. We, you know. Um. All right. Um. We gonna play. play yeah. Go ahead. Play. play. Uh huh. I don't know. You hit play, twins. I'm distraught over here. I don't know. Well, well, well. I'm over here dying because everybody falls into one of those categories. Mm -hmm. If you know it or not, everybody is in one of those categories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may have one or two friends that are in the for real, for real friend zone, but you may have that friend that doesn't know that they're in the friend zone. They think that they're leading to something else. But Mm -hmm. ultimately... They're just in the friend zone. So both parties may not even know what zone you're in. So I would always say, beware. And no, no, no. I wouldn't dare text any (laughs) of my male counterparts anything because that's just going to open the door. And I don't have time for those problems. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. (laughs) I'm just, see? Mm. Thank but you. She did say thank you, Leslie. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, what's her name? Um, just, just Les four two one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you did say that there might be one or two. So these people that are just true blue friends, and I think twins and I said they kind of convert to family, exist. You know, you're not using them for a meal, even if you guys do go out, and you know. For, for the women, the guy probably will, you know, most times buy the food, but at least once or twice, you know, a year, you, you purchase him a meal or something, or, you know, at least for his birthday, you get him a card or something, you know, it's just not that one-sided, I don't know, but they could exist, and she did say that, so I'm with you, though, Leslie, I'm not calling, texting nobody, Mm-mm, not gonna happen. Mm-hmm, because I'm telling okay, you. Go ahead, twins. I'm, I, I, I'm Push the button. Oh, you know, let me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not gonna do it yeah them them ain't friends they family when you done been with friends for so long they consider family like my friend of over 10 years like he ain't friend no more he family until, right right un- until you crack that door open until you crack that door open and, and see see if that 10 year is thrown out the window Especially when you know he get that one shot. See, also, okay, ladies, let me t- let me let me tell y'all something. Free game right here, ladies. All ladies across the board, all y'all. Listen, you should never, ever get dressed naked. Be have dress around a male friend. Just to, just just not gonna happen. Especially if you know he's not gay. Just that simple. If the man is not, if the man is gay, different story. If the man is not gay, if he's heterosexual, you should never, ever, ever, ever get dressed in front of him, get naked in front of him. None of those things. Those because he's still a man at the end of the day. He's still a man. And th- right there changed the dynamic. You may never ever look at your so called, you know, not real sister. I'm talking about like your friend you call sister, sister. You may never ever look at her like that ever in your whole life. But the one time you see her get dressed up and XYZ, you're like, what the? That's all you? 
all these years? Because you never looked at them like that. Father. <laughs> but you never looked at them like that. But but you, trust me, I had, listen, when I was single, how women get dressed in front of me naked, like, I'm like, I, I had to tell her, like, you know I'm not gay, right? I will fuck the shit out of you. I mean, I know we're friends, but you just can't, you just can't, like, I, I don't know what you're doing here right now. Like, why are you, like, I could come back. You could say, hey, give me a minute, I'm getting dressed. You can't, you can't allow me to come in your house and the only thing you got on is a robe. Like, what are we doing here? I'm like, hold up. Last time I checked, I'm not gay. So, yeah. And that right there just changed the whole dynamic because now I can't unsee without unseeing. So, ladies, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Don't, mm -mm. No man That's should so ever bad. see you. Unless he's your boyfriend and husband. Aside, outside of that, no other man should see you like that. But I'm going to hit play so we don't get too far behind on these messages. Free game, ladies. Mm -hmm. Free game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Preston. Twins, don't start no mess. He know his role. Too late. The family know his role, and he know his role. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm not saying do it, but if you do it, just, he just remember, already started. Mess. Listen, just remember he when it does. <laughs> when we started the show. Just remember when it when you do do it at one time, it can be from five years now, ten years ago. Just know when you do it in the back of your mind, somewhere back here, you're like, you know what? Twins did say this. I'm like, I sure did. I told you so. We got another one. Hold on. Go ahead. Oh, hold up. Oh. So the crazy thing about it, it kind of sucks that everything is broken down into categories, but I just kind of still stand in the truth. Let's just tell the truth exactly what our intentions is, because sometimes these things, when somebody have it set up in their mind of what their goal is, ending goal is, and both people aren't in the, on the same accord, that leads to other kind of situations. You know, this how people come up missing, dead, and all kind of <laughs> stuff. So, for me, I just, I don't have time for the games. I don't want to play no games. What we doing? We doing it or we not doing it? Because for me, I'm either all in or I'm all out. I don't know how to play the ropes. So, yeah, I'm having the conversation head on. And, you know, if you okay with being the fool guy or whatever, that's your position. But just know from the start that's not where we're ending anywhere. We've all decided our role, so let's play them and play them well. Drop the mic. Mm, mm, mm. Drop the mic. Platinum. Platinum hands on the, mm. on the mic. Play your part. No. Platinum hands said, mm. I am not playing the rope. <laughs> ain't no tag gear yet. Ain't no ain't bobbing and weaving. No bounce off the ropes. It. Right, ain't none of that. No so rubber dope. We're going to play our role. Rubber dope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! It's Friday for real. I think everybody had. You got a cup in your hand, twins over there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have some water. And I, uh -huh. I have a little something, something. Some water. I, I mean, uh -huh. some water, and I'll sip it on a little smear off. Something like it's only what four point five percent alcohol. Ain't nothing. Mm. It's just juice. That's all it is. Mm. It's Friday. Okay. Yeah. I've been on break all I'm week just though. Stay so with my man, he it's great drink. Okay, I'm gonna just stay with that. I can't do what you got going on. You got something else happening. But yeah, y'all going in today on this Friday. Maybe because we had a Wednesday off, y'all lit up today, huh? Listen. So let's see. Let's let's. But okay. hold on, I got a question though for Everybody Platinum. Everybody plays a part of the category though. She yes. Said, right. Right. So Platinum. Go ahead, so extra question. So first. so question. Are you still there, Platinum? Question I have for you is, how do you know as far as which category is the person going to play? You know, like, so at what point, where do I come to have realization, I'm probably saying it wrong, that you know he's going to be the fool guy, he's going to be the friendo, friend zone guy, the smash dude. How do you know at what point that this particular guy you're talking to is going to be in that certain category? How do you get there? How do you decide? Dun, dun, dun. I'm interested to hear, too, because I didn't even know. I mean, most of the time, I mean, listen, listen, at the end of the day, most, most of the time, not all, most of the time, the woman does, the woman does dictate which category the man does go in though. And the way she does it is how I really would have thought it's just men most more so than ladies. You know, I, this is, you know, a little bit new. Me and my girlfriends, we have not ever had a conversation with like, yeah, girl, this guy just take me out to eat all the time. No, we don't. No, I don't have that type of conversation. I have friends that are single, um, you know, and like we might have, oh, you with this shorty, 
or whatever. You with that shorty. But it's not just because it's not, oh, he only served this one purpose. I'm dating and none of these guys have made that step. You know, we haven't, I haven't decided to go to that relationship phase with anyone. So, you know, we just, okay. But then it's not, I don't know. A com- conflicted. So I'm going to just miss I speak life over and out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have these conversations with my girlfriends, but I do have girlfriends that are single and will refer to a guy as a shorty, like, oh, I'm going to me and my shorty, but it might not be the same shorty. <laughs> what category they're in, though, I don't know. They got them, them they got them no. guys, they always find, you know, the guys have always find them out. You know what I'm saying? That's a category, too. Now, we have one that we'll go out with, you know, we'll link up with at a spot, you mm-hmm. know, and then it'll be like a group of us. He's with his group. We kind of come as a group, you know, myself, her, maybe another other friend or two friends. So, yeah, that'll happen. Then you might be, it might be another one where when we go, you know, somewhere to hang out, like not in the town, we go out of town for a couple of days. There's, you know, might be one. Okay, maybe. I'm, I'm starting to put the pieces together. Mm-hmm. It's starting to make okay, sense. Go Boy, ahead, press play. Boy, keep yeah, talking. It's starting All to make right. a little I'm bit a, of sense. Yeah. Right. I'm play. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. Man, listen here. I'm not playing with y'all today on Friday. What is today? April? The 9th. 9th. Whatever today's date is. <laughs> I'm not playing on games with y'all. Listen, we. I'm just talking from what I hear ladies say in a salon because that's what I do. Um... You know, I don't I don't have much experience in that because I was swooped up and I was wife zoned. So I didn't get a chance to <laughs> to zone. really get out here and play because I had a business and then I had a husband. So um yeah, he knew what it was. He knew what kind of catch and knew what I had to offer. So he didn't play no games. He asked me six times and I said yes on the seventh. So I don't I don't really, Jeez. you know know how to you know give it to you guys but i know where y'all going and i'm not participating i said all i'm saying all right platinum all right so we understand that you got you was pulling a wife zone <laughs> wiped up zone cool but guess what you do work in a salon so you hear ladies talk all the time so based on the conversation here your ladies say in the salons like guys have conversation in the barbershop Big shout out to the chat team. Um, let's, you know, you may, you personally may not have a story, but I'm sure your ladies in the shop, a salon, has stories that you heard and talked about. So you can probably speak on some of those. Don't be afraid to. Yeah, she said, I don't have any experience with all of this nonsense. That's how I sound. I don't know either, but I'm starting to see. I'm starting to get a better understanding as I, I think guess. to, you know, a couple of single friends. Man. And how we do talk about... So at one point with, with a friend in particular, I did have, like, nicknames for the guys. Like, one guy would be, like, the Dunkin' Donuts guy, mm. right? Because this guy will always come to her job and bring a uh, Starbucks or whatever. It was a coffee guy. The coffee guy. He'd mm-hmm. always bring... Yeah, the coffee guy. But he... Not necessarily because that was her thing. That was his thing. Because he would go, he would get coffee himself. He mm-hmm. would get coffee and he would use her. I told her he would come, he swayed you with a cup of coffee, and then he used you to be your counselor. Because then he come and he talk your ear off. You know what I mean? While you at while you're at work, and then he goes about his business and things like that. But he would, he would text her, you know, how are you and things like that as well. But I called him the coffee guy. And then there was another guy, same girlfriend who I had, like, some other crazy name for, almost like Candyman or some creepy, creepy crawly creditor-ish, because he was a little creepy, you know? And when I say a little creepy, it was like, I guess he was giving off the vibes, like, I really, really, really like you, like you, like you. But I'm acting like I don't like you. So it was coming off real weird. Like, bro, just say you want to be with her, you know? Or just say what it is you want, to, you want from her. You just showing up and... You're doing all this extra stuff, but you're not really saying anything. 
So now that I'm thinking about it, I'm seeing, okay, okay, this could be a thing. It could really be a thing. And let me ask you this. The same girl, right? The same girl who had the coffee dude and the candy man, right? Outside of the, I guess, the work (laughs) (laughs) people she had in her life, did she have a boyfriend or a man outside of that she was talking with that that you knew of at that time? Yeah, she was in a relationship. Oh, so she was in a relationship. She had, so she had three people. You know that, right, ladies and gentlemen? She had a man, she had a coffee man, and she had a candy man. <laughs> and everybody played their part. Well, wait, wait, wait. wait. So he, <laughs> everybody played their part. You know <laughs> why? Because because I'm the done, boyfriend done, done. the boyfriend didn't get mad at the candy man. Matter of fact, the boyfriend didn't know about the candy man or coffee man. And if he did, he didn't care anyway. They played their part. I, I can't say that he didn't know because... You know, honesty is the best policy, and he would be at the workplace as well, so he would just pop up. So I'm sure he knew the coffee. You know, yeah. So he, so like I said, he probably knew lady. about it. Like, oh, okay, he just getting you coffee. He ain't worried about it. But still, like, like listen, like, right? He probably knew about the coffee man, but he didn't care about it because only thing to do what it was coffee. But if the woman would have gave, if he, if she to open that window up just a little tiny bit, that he can get more and coffee, like coffee and cream. Oh, then the boyfriend had a problem. You get what I'm saying? But she kept him in that coffee zone. That's all it's going to be. Right. Good morning. Thanks for a coffee. You have a great day, Mr. John. Mwah. Give him a little little fake hug, you know, a little church hug, whatever. But if she gave him that real hug and cracked that window, it'd be a different conversation. I'm going to hit play because I don't want to get too behind these messages. Mm. All right. Woo. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Twin, what did I just say? Didn't I just say I'm not going into this with y'all? Stop calling me out, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You know, some guys know they tricks, so they play their role and they play it well. You know what I mean? Like, everybody knows. You know what your strength is and you know what your weakness is and you play it. You play your part and you play it well. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Let's just... I'm not. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not. You know, it's funny to me for you trying to play both roles, twin, to talk about the men and the women. But it would only be fair if I actually allowed the women who plays the game to speak on it. And unfortunately, I took the day off so I could not. But, you know, my, <laughs> my girls, the Platinum Dials, are more than willing to get on the mic and share some of their knowledge, value, and drop gems. So... Oh, we need to call one of them phone a friend. I'm about to phone one of my friends. <laughs> like, wait, now wait. I need a little bit more detail. When you say shorty and I named him this, was he in a category? And if so, which category did you have him in? You know, like I mm. need a little bit more detail on that. All right. Cause we don't have those conversations. Go ahead. Go ahead. Press play. All right. Oh, hold up. You got big hands over here. Hurry. Here we go. But see, let's not do that either, twin, because I don't like what you're doing either, trying to make it as if it is a lady role. When you know you guys all have women that you do things to, you got that trophy that you can (laughs) take out with you. You know, you got that one that might not be the hottest, but she got the best. So you go home to her at night and do what y'all do. So let's not make this a ladies thing. It is a man and female thing, and everybody does it. Everybody. Oh, see what happened was you. Everybody. Plat, 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 platinum Pete must have came a little late to the conversation because I, I said that man, we, we play our parts, and I, I outlined my my role that I used to have. So, no, as I as, as I as I you know go back and say again, we have our roles, but the difference between the men roles and the women roles is that with the guys, I get to smash all my zone people. So, mm, so, mm, it, mm, so, mm. so <laughs> it doesn't matter if she's a late night creep, if she got the good wop, is she the, uh, the arm candy, mm. is she the movie girl, is she the the work wife? I'm smashing all of them. Okay, it's a win for me. Oh my god, it's the smashing it for me. <laughs> so the, I'm, I'm still gone. winning. So I mean, it's, like I said, our roles is different compared to the women's roles. So women got all he don't get this, he don't even get to smell it. Matter of fact, he don't even get to smell my underwear. Like, trust me, I heard women say things out their mouth. I'm just saying, like, you know, people know their role, they play. But men got a role, too, but our role is just different. <laughs> I'm going to hit play on the next one. You ready? You got anything you want to say before I play? I ain't saying a word. I'm not saying nothing. Go All ahead right. and press play. 
Hold on, you are. Hold on. So you had all of that going on, and you talking about you don't know nothing about none of these zones? Uh -uh. Uh -uh Uh-uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. I didn't have anything going on last week. I had nothing going on. And that's why it's just now kind of soaking in, and I'm connected dot based on what we all saying. Who was that? That was um, just just less four twenty one. Listen, I mm-mm. I'm I'm figuring it out though. I'm texting my girlfriend right now just to make sure I'm saying it correctly because I don't know if these category. I don't know if she knew she was categorizing them either. Well, because I think too, like I said, for me, when I thought about dating, it wasn't in a, it wasn't in this category. I just, but I definitely, definitely were dating multiple people. I was not in a relationship. No, and I'm with you. And I'll say this: when during these time frames, when people, these things, these things has always been there, but it's not something someone actually says. No one says, "Okay, I'm putting John over here," or I'm not gonna say John, Janae. I'm not putting Janae in friend zone and Kim in. Fuck buddy and Nikki at late night. No, we don't say those things. Those things just happen naturally. Like I'm only calling you at nighttime. I'm not. I'm not telling you. I'm not calling. I'm not. I'm not telling woman. I'm not telling a woman to her face. Hey, you're my late night creep only. No, it is how. That's what I asked. That's how how it goes. For sure, it is definitely true. I said. So you mean to tell me? That Becky the butt buddy booty night friend (laughs) knows that that's her role, whatever. And you said, yeah, she's fully aware of it. So that's why I'm tripping because I'm like, I don't, I don't know these things. You know? Okay, listen. So yes, yes, she knows her role. I don't tell her that's her role is, but after two years, and me only calling you after you know ten o'clock ish. And I'm only seeing you only at night. I'm never taking to a movies. We've never been out in the public anywhere. That's your role. And you cool with it. You never bring it up to me. We never get an argument. Somehow. How come I'll never see you during the day? She know her role. And she accept that. She might she might have been one of the women, I said earlier, that settled. No one's hollering at her, doing her thing. So she's settled in her, in her spot. Or... She had her own thing going on during the day. So it worked out perfectly for both of us. It's a win-win. Does that make sense? Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. So it could be both folks, but like I said, after two years of doing this, I'm just saying, like, I had two years a night creep. I had five years. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I'm not, not going to incriminate myself too much now, but I'm going to hit play. Yeah, don't incriminate yourself because <laughs> I don't want this to be, like, kicking you out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit play. All right. It's the platinum P for me to win. Don't, don't, don't put that name out there. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> I don't know why she keep fighting it. Oh, Lord. Okay, so just like you're playing, she could be playing too. You know, everybody, it's a game. Everything is out here. People treat the whole world and life as a game. Facts. Just like, you know, you might have been doing whatever, so she was cool in that spot, but she definitely has somebody else fulfilling those other spots. Please don't get it twisted. Facts. Mm. And that's why I said, and that's why I said it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> it's a win-win for mm. everybody. I don't think I, I don't, the only, like just regular life. The only thing that requires you doing it right. That's all. You doing it, you do, you do your thing, but do it right. That's all. Do it safely and right. <laughs> safely and right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So basically, you know, everything, all of these categories exist for every, everyone. Listen. Uh-oh, yes. Twin. It's yes. some static. Give me a static. Sorry about that. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm hit play again. Drops the mic, Platinum P. I hear you. I hear you, sis. I hear you, girl. <laughs> she Plat- gonna get. She gonna get you later. I was about to say it again. <laughs> Big Go shout ahead. out to Platinum Go Hands. 
We should get oh, your hair okay. right, ladies. Ladies, if you're in Ohio, you need to get your hair slayed. Go to, in Cleveland, Ohio, go and see Platinum Hands to get your hair right. Free plug. Hey. So, yeah. People should yeah, understand. I'm glad you cleaned it up. <laughs> right. So, people need to un- people need to understand that, you know, um, if if you don't have an actual title title, you're put in a category. It could be different types of category, whatever it is. But if you don't have a title as the husband, the boyfriend, then you're and you still interacting with this person, then you're definitely put in a certain category. Especially if you try to do boyfriend and husband husband privileges and you get denied. If you try to do them things as if you were a boyfriend or husband and you get denied, oh, you're definitely in a category. So that's one way to test mm-hmm. it out. When you say try to do things in the husband category and get denied, what do you mean? Like, I mean the obvious one: just, to just have sex. Decide, just decide, just, just try to have sex. That's number one. Okay. If you, that's if, the obvious. That's one? the obvious one. If you get denied, I mean, I mean, kissing. If she don't kiss you, I mean, but but then again, a lot of people didn't kiss, so I I I, I won't just yeah, kissing. I'm one of them. I won't just kissing because mm-hmm. yeah, but. If you can't have sex, oh, you're definitely in the zone area. You definitely you're in somebody's category. I don't know which one it is, but you're definitely in the category. If you don't get the cheeks, if you can't, you're in a category somewhere. And I'm gonna hit play. Mm-hmm. Wait, and let me say this as well because I don't want you guys to, you know, to take all of this the wrong way. There are some great, genuine people who are really out here looking for love and, you know, trying to connect with people. And it sucks that, you know, this is this is conversation that has to be had for those who are really, you know, genuine and looking for love and, you know, or have found love. But you still want to leave that hope out there and, and leave that space open to know that everybody isn't playing because everybody's not playing. But, you know, those ones who are like you can tell, you know, it's a, it's the swag that they pull. It's the game. It's the whole approach. You can tell you can tell those who are in a game for a game. So let's just use our discernment because I'm all here for the black love and the black marriages. That's what I'm about. I stand firm on it and let's make that happen and forget this. Thank you, Platinum Hands. So to add to that, yes, I mean, there's people out there who wants, who wants real love, all that, all that good stuff. But in this day and age now, the problem that we have out here is that um, not every, but most women is chasing a certain type of guy. So when they're all chasing mm. a certain type of guy, so, you know what I'm saying? The dudes with all Y'all the swag. This conversation is going? Now you see where it's going? I ain't, you know, I wasn't trying to do it, but mm. because, because mm. women are certain, they all, they all want the, the guy with the most swag, the guy who got the most money, who got, you know, who got all the swag. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the most popular guy, whatever. So, therefore, when y'all all chasing on one particular guy, the guy below him who's, who, who is working to get to a certain status ain't there yet. Those are the ones who get put into those food guy, friend zone guy. Those are the men who fall in those categories because the woman, because, you know, the woman, the, 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 of course, the man finds a woman and chooses, but the woman has to accept it. If she don't accept them, was she chasing them, the guy who got the bag? This is how this is how these zones are created. This is how it all started. It's just a simple fact. Hmm. Because it's, it's like this. It's like most women out there, they don't want to settle. And they think settle is a bad thing, but it's like, why would I try to why why would I settle with a dude who makes eighty thousand where I can get a guy to make hundred and fifty thousand? Why well, sell we go. Why well, sell with the guy I'm who coming out guy. <laughs> Why well, sell with the guy who has a um who has a business where they cutting grass his home his own business that he has and hiring people for, and he have people and he making good money, but you want the guy who's the CEO of the top notch company out there. You it, 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 just saying like I can get him. Why well, sell for that? So it just that's the game that we're in right now. So when it comes to fi- fi- finding love and being in love, it's tricky now. 
because we got all these alpha betas mm-hmm. and then we got these high earners and um, high value men, all these new terms in the last 10 years that came out of nowhere, but it's a big deal now. Man, I could tell you right now, for me, it is extremely weird because I'm like, how, where did these things come from? Mm-hmm. Who approved these messages? Right. <laughs> I thought these things had to be kid friendly, mother approved. What's going on here? How are we talking about alpha male and females? Why are we referring to each other's male and female? <laughs> What's going on? And that's the problem what now. What is going on? Yeah. Why do we talk about the animal kingdom? How are we comparing ourselves to animals? That part where there. Are we, where am I? And that's it. Like, that's me back. And, and, I, don't, I don't like this. I hate it here. And listen, I, I say that, and that's why I don't. I don't, I don't all the way. Um, what you what you always say? You don't um, subscribe. I, I love when you say that. <laughs> I don't subscribe to this alpha beta because where was it ten years ago? And then on top of that, like you just stated, the whole alpha thing came from the animal kingdom. We're not animals. Hell, we rule the animals. Yeah, I'm like, what? You understand what I'm saying? Right. So how right. we how we taking how we taking love and relationship? advice from an animal <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying what i'm saying like how does that make I'm sense ourselves. like you know what and then <laughs> and then the comparison don't fully make sense anyway because i heard somebody say we're the alpha males like the lion the lion is the, the king of the pride and then in the same breath say we hunt we 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 do that i'm like don't the lioness hunt i'm confused I don't know what's going on here. I don't think y'all know what's going on. So who approved these things? So I'm, I want to know who validated these. Social Why, media. When I researched, <laughs> exactly. I mm-hmm. Googled Alpha, Beta, Theta, and one more. It was four. This whole bunch of them. Alpha, Beta. There was something. There there's is. a Theta. Theta with T-H. It, oh, my gosh. I was like, see. I went back to prayer. I said, Lord, I don't know what <laughs> like, this is. You to but you said I wouldn't have to settle. So I'm not even going to pay attention to none of this foolishness because this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a message, though. Let's I'm here to play. play. Yep. No, everybody's looking for a certain some, something. Everybody want an arm piece. You know what I mean? Everybody want an arm piece. Everybody want to look good when you go out. But the whole thing about it is it's so much of it is superficial and we have to look beyond that because the things that really matter turns you on a whole lot more, especially when it comes to mentally. That's what stimulates me. If we can have a conversation, you can almost have whatever you like. You know what I'm saying? So we have to, we have to go beyond those looks. But again, you know, I I do agree because they are put up on that pedestal and everybody is chasing that. But then you know what it is already. So then don't get your hopes up high. Don't don't have that expectation for expectation for it to turn out to be something that you know is probably not going to turn out to be cuz just like you willing to set out and do whatever for that somebody else is as well. That right there. Thank mm. you, Platinum Hands. <laughs> but she's right though. I mean, she's right. No, she's absolutely right. Yeah. She's right. I'm going to hit play before we She's right. To... And I like, right. I, I meant to say before, even before you hit play, I meant yep. to say the last message that Platinum Hands left, I wanted to agree um, as well because we do stand for black love as well, right? We want people to be happy. Um, but I was glad that she noted it is a level of hope loss when you hear stuff like this. And this is becoming a new norm because like we just said, these things did not exist 10 years ago. But we're faced with them and I don't, it doesn't matter that I don't want to deal with it, you know, being single right now. Okay, cool. I don't want to deal with it, but it is definitely something that you have to be aware of. You can't just be ignorant to it. These conversations, this conversation we're having right now is so valuable. Why? Because this is what the new norm is. Mm. We're talking about things that, yeah, they kind of been here, but they're so, um, they're illuminated now, I guess, because now people are actually what do you call it scaling folks you know measure what what did what do the women go to kevin samuels for to be um rated what's the word rated rated yes Mm -hmm. so they're rating people so now categories we know categories exist more way more than we did back in the day and then you have like you said the dialogue about alpha versus beta versus theta you know so people are really um 
they're they're coming out with these things like they started like how zodiac signs used to be like back right. in the day that's what it was you know okay everybody want to know what what sign are you are we compatible via zodiac sign you know if you subscribe to that i don't but if you did you know that was the thing so now in addition to the zodiac sign people now you got this um lion king you know comparison animal kingdom type of mindset with the alphas and you know betas and then you have this <sighs> pretty privileged type of <laughs> I'm sorry I digress a little bit pretty privileged type of uh, energy mindset where you know you're particularly just using guys for these different things with no um, real I don't know you're not really trying to be with them gotcha and I guess in the in the instance hmm, go ahead and press play I'll come back to that I gotta, t- I gotta look well, yeah, marinate. I got you. Mm. That's right. That's the part that they forget that the female is the one who does the hunting in the animal kingdom. So at the end of the day, alpha or beta, whatever it's called, because I don't go by it. I think it's all stupid. But if you also look Thanks. at it, that man got his woman. And he got his kids, and that's his one. They ain't playing no games. You ain't running up on them. They got each other back, and you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody cheating. It's them. They a solid team. They kids good. They eat well. The wife take care of everything. And the man, you know, he he go out and, you know, circle and make sure ain't no hyenas trying to come in and creep up on his wife and kids. But that wife is the killer. She's a beast. So, I mean, I'm just saying, do what you want with that. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I That's don't a understand. Fact. Thank That's you a... again, Platinum Hands. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And um, in, 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 in the animal kingdom, when it comes to lions, you know, the king of the jungle, the female lion, she's the one who goes out to hunt. She hunts. She kills. She brings the food back. The husband eats first. After the husband eats over, where it's left over is for the wife and the kids. And because the husband is the one who's required to protect the wife, and kids. So he needs to have the energy and be ready to defend his family if he needs to. So yes, that everything you said was completely accurate there. Platinum hands, thank you very much. Yeah, and we know that we know better than that. That's why the husband and not the king of the jungle do more than just protect the family. Facts. They protect, they lead, they provide because we're not animals. That right that part right there. <laughs> we're <ain't>. not animals. <laughs> you you know better than to send your woman hunting. You know, unless right. that's the culture. And when I say hunting, I mean hunting where she could be devoured. You know what I mean? So that's not how we live our lifestyle, not in this culture. Right. Now, if you live in an environment where that makes sense, because there are some cultures, I don't want to speak ignorantly, there are some cultures that the women do do the hunting and, and um, you know, all of the, um, what do you call it? Like the packing up, the storing of the food yeah. and all of that. They do all of that. And the, the the men and the and the tribes, this is more tribal talk, right? Mm-hmm. They provide whatever they provide. I, I don't come from that type of culture, so I don't know all of the ins and outs, but I do know in some places that that part of it does exist. But here in the United States, that's not how it works. You know, you're not sending your woman out to hunt. One, we're not hunting anymore. <laughs> so your role, you know, you got right, to respect different. the role. And and I, I feel so often that people really are upset about their roles. They don't like the fact that these are the man roles. They much rather it be something different and they kind of be bitter, upset about it or, you know, reject it in some ways. But look, these are the roles, daggone it. And I think Platinum Hands was it or it might have been um, uh, Lens 421. Yeah. But one of the two said, you know, everybody knows their position and play it, right? Just play your role. I think that's the disconnect. There's a conflict and people aren't sure what their roles are and they're not fully comfortable with accepting those roles. And that's especially like when we start talking about these alpha, alpha beta type of uh, conversations and people. Right. And before so, I, yeah. and before I play here, just, I just want to say this: when it comes to you know these alphas, and we talk about the lion because it is part of the animal kingdom. Just remember, we men, we hunt and kill lions. We men, 
paint these right. lines in For cages. Sport. You're right. And they're in cages. So if you want to see a lion, if you want to see, ladies, if you want to get you an alpha, a real alpha, go to the local zoo. <laughs> That's what he at. Lined up, ready to raw at you. <laughs> If you if you want you an alpha, ladies, go to go to the zoo right now. You probably get your stuffed animal to take home with you because you can't take a lion, tiger home with you, whatever. But if you want to see one in person, go to the zoo. I'm gonna hit play. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh lord. You know what? Now that I think about it, we might want to take notes from them because they live in they they really doing it. <laughs> if you want to think about it, they they doing it a lot better than we is because we out here looking crazy and foolish, stupid, sims losing losing our life and our value all over dumb stuff of what we think other people um say we should look like, what our value is, how we should and shouldn't move, what relationship goals is and aren't, aren't but. You, like you said, bringing it back to that animal kingdom, they out here represent a whole different thing. So no, we shouldn't compare ourselves to a, to the pride of the earth. But if you look at it, they doing it a whole lot better than we are. That part right there. Mm-mm-mm. Right. Better take note. Because they're doing it naturally. They're doing it in their natural habitat under their nat- under the guises of their natural physiques and nobody's telling them. That's the thing we keep forgetting. These are animals. They do not have the ability to comprehend and to speak and to learn. You know, not, well, they can definitely learn and adapt, but not in the capacity of understanding wisdom, you know, knowledge. So why are we, those of us that can, comparing ourselves to, like you said, the very thing we hunt and put in cages for sport and for, for the for what? entertainment they're in the zoo for entertainment so it, it doesn't make any sense again thanks again platinum hands for you know setting a record straight dropping a mic because yes they need to understand this don't make sense but if we are going to compare themselves like she was saying mm-hmm. let's take the better of it right let's take the the fact that they're consistent with whatever this natural lifestyle is their roles right the lioness they don't they already know this what they have to do. They're built for it. They have the speed for it that the male lion doesn't have, you know, because he's overgrown. They have the jaw strength, they have the keen sense of um, what do you call it? stealth mode and all of these different things they have that the male lion, their counterpart, don't have. So that's why they're the ones to go and do the hunting. Not because the man is lazy, not because the man just want to have a whole bunch of lioness who go do stuff for him. <laughs> not because the man, the male lion, <laughs> you know, got so much money he could afford everybody. Not, so, you know? Right, like, right, what, all that. What are we talking about right now? Right. Exactly. It's because she has the ability. She's fit for it. That's what she's supposed to do. We keep forgetting that part, and then we don't want to play our roles. But our roles are what's natural to us. It doesn't. It's not natural for a woman to say something like, "I don't want a man. Or, I don't need a man." That's unnatural. It's unnatural and it's dumb. But I digress because <laughs> these things are recorded and people have feelings and all the things. I identify as this, that, and so whatever. I'm a hip. As far as Ms. I speak <laughs> life is concerned, I'm a digress. Go ahead, hit play twist. All right. So can somebody point me in the right direction? Where are these quote unquote roles uh, identified? And I presume it's in the origin of these things is um, in some embedded in some um, some religious belief or indoctrination. So um, you guys are talking about roles and I'm intrigued. Where are you guys getting the blueprint uh, or the idea that, you know, these are the roles for these types of people? I would assume that he's, no, I would assume is he referring to the the whole alpha and beta thing he referring to or something else? He's a no. I believe he's refer. He can definitely chime back in and let yeah. us know for sure. But I'm almost positive he's referring to the male female role in terms of men aren't the comments we were making in terms of the men aren't sending their women out to hunt right now. 2021 United States, you know, um, also to the point that, you know, the lioness role is her role because it's natural. And the male lion role is his role because it's natural. 
So he needs to come back in and give some more insight as to where he's actually coming from, because I think it's a more controversial point of like the religion. You know, the Bible says a man is supposed to be the provider. I think we mentioned provider, protector, mm -hmm. things like that. I think that's where he's coming from, but we oh. can let him chime in. Instead. Okay. I was going to make sure because, you know, as far as with the animal part, that's Discovery Channel. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? You can look at it easily. So I, I, I just want to be clear as far as where you're coming from. So, Andrew, we uh, we listened to you, sir. Please chime back in. We definitely want to get more clarity, and we definitely want to talk about it. I'm going to hit play for the next message. Cool. Okay, so we talk about people not being comfortable in their roles. If we grow up, use our communication, because that's what our mouth is for, and our ears are used to hear what the other person say hear with your heart that way you'll be able to hear the things that are not being said as well and then if we grow up and just have these conversations nobody feels any type of way because you know my expectations and i know yours that way we can have a conversation oh yeah baby no i can't do that for you or yeah i can't be that person and if we have these conversations then we don't have to try and figure out what our roles is or or isn't it can't be happy with the position that we play because if you just have it, if you talk about it from the beginning, then everybody know they roll and we've agreed to it and we'll move on. And if we don't agree to it, we still get to move on with someone else. I agree. Right. The, the thing, the thing is we got to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And also we need to be able to handle these constructive criticism as well. You can talk about it, but if people don't know how to handle you know, these conflict conversations, how you don't get anywhere. Because a lot of people, they like to run from mm -hmm. hard, difficult, challenging conversations. So they don't want to be told no or, or what they're doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? And if they do talk about mm -hmm. things, it turned to a bigger situation where there's a full blown out argument and whatever. When you're trying to come somewhere and have a small conversation about something that's very small, but it becomes big. And at that point, I won't come to you about anything else because I'm fight arguing about something so small, if that makes sense. So it's going to start with right. the education at a young age on how to handle and deal with communication in all levels across the board. But Platinum Hands, thank you. That was great. Yes, thank you. And what was the guy's name again? Uh, Andrew, he's that coming. Left the message? Yeah, yeah, he left one. I got okay, a few more. Andrew. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to hit play as so we get to it. Okay, okay. Go ahead, first. Yep. Right. Shout out Dwayne and Vince. I speak life. Ooh, I like that. It's time to throw the show your king and queen some love. I hope you're experiencing an amazing day to you and all those who are listening. Wishing you peace, love, and success. Life is all about making progress. And until next time, peace. I love that. Yeah. Yes, Miss <laughs> yes. Diamond. I'm about, I'm about to do one of the, look. Yes, thank you, Queen. She came through. She came through with the the commercial and everything, with the music and everything. I love it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Queen. Yeah, and the soft tone. Let me let me take some notes. <laughs> take some notes. Yeah, okay, let me tap into my take it tap into my Blessings. inner best. Blessings. And now my inner my inner diamond. And let me see if I could do this. I don't think I could do it. But yeah, thank you for that. That was amazing. That was really dope. Hey, right. That's a good little little smooth break there. With it. Yeah. That's I'll, real smooth. Okay, you better go ahead. Go ahead with that. your bad self. I'm gonna play the next one. Uh-huh. Okay, so I kind of disagree there because those are um, God's animal and they definitely communicate and um, have a sense of knowledge and wisdom going on. That's why they are naturally able to go out and do all the things that need to be done to protect their home, to make sure that they eat well, to make sure that they procreate and, you know, all of those things. So they are definitely aware and very knowledgeable. We are the ones who are not. We have all all everything we have all the tools and we just choose not to use it so it's just like what what are we doing for real what are we doing out here so i don't yeah, know i think we're saying the same thing is so is platinum responding to andrew directly because I'm, I'm i'm confused over here <laughs> yeah i think we're saying the same thing she's saying she might have been responding to um to andrew. andrew i'm not sure okay all right or okay. she could have been responding to my comment because, you know, it's a little delayed when I right. mentioned um, the difference between us. But think that's what I was actually saying. It's like, you know, it's natural to them. So they know they can definitely grow. You know, I said they can learn and they're aware of things like that. I, I, I stated that. So maybe she didn't hear that part. 
So it's either that or Andrew. But okay. we'll see. All right. And I'll just say, um, anyone who, um, we're, we're trying to make sure we stay with the message and try, we're playing quickly so we're not far be, uh, behind. But if you dis, if you disagree, just say what you disagree, uh, disagree to so we know what you're talking about. So we, you know, be on the same page. That's all I'm asking. All right. Uh, Andrew replied again. Let's go. Uh, but who says that they don't have them? Because even a lone male lion will make a kill with or without a female companion. Uh, in other words, the pride is not necessary for the lion or lioness to make a kill and, and do those things. Okay, we're not saying that that's the only way. Okay. Twins. So 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 so, so, uh, so are we referring back to the, the, the animals where the the, the the um the the tiger, the the, the I'm sorry, the lion, right? The lion. The his his woman, right? The queen, whatever you want to call her. The lioness. Say, lioness. Okay, whatever. All right. So the lion. So are we saying that? Um, I'm not sure, but the, the, that's. I mean, if you look it up, we one, we, can, we don't need to get off topic, right? The point is that we're trying to make. Sorry to cut you off, twins. No, you're because good. I good. Feel like good. we're gonna get all the way turned left with this, right? With the being politically correct with the lioness and the tri- the pride. Our whole point is that we are adults. We could have conversation. We don't have to compare ourselves to the pride, to the lion, the lioness, the gazelle, or any other animal outside of those that fit in the apple tree that we come from, right? People. That was the whole point. And also to say that when we talk about these categories, because I don't know what time everyone chimed in. So just to refresh where we are, reset, however you say, we're talking about um, being on a date with someone, they're constantly in their phone, right? They're not paying you no attention. What type of category do you fall in at that point? Are you that friend zone guy or girl? Are you that just, you know, go out just to get a free meal? So from that, we've gone into, you know, some of the new age um, tactics. Whereas though back in the day, 10 years ago, let's just say we were only using like zodiac signs. We're known. (laughs) Okay. What's your zodiac sign to see if we're comparable compatible now it's zodiac sign are you alpha male are you beta are you alpha female this stuff didn't exist 10 years ago and and we're also discussing the categories okay pretty privileged types of things this guy you know you got a calendar you got pete on mondays for dinner you got john on tuesdays you know for the spa treatment you got this one paying for your trip you got this one paying for your butt lift you got this, you know, so we're talking about those things. We're not necessarily really delving into the ins and outs of the animal kingdom. Oh, okay. All, All right. right. So let's just clear that up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The only reason want... I feel like we're going left and who okay. kills what. No, that's not what we're saying. Oh, okay, okay. Right, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the clarity. Yeah. The only reason, the only reason why we even talk about the alpha or animal kingdom, about the lion, is because people are using these terms as alpha and beta. Like they hold so much weight when it comes to people talking to other people and dating and relationship. So you look up alpha and beta, it goes back to the animal kingdom. So that's the only point I was trying to make when he means speaking. When overall, when we're speaking about that part, it's just the alpha and beta, it's not even a human thing, it's an animal thing. But I'm going to hit play. I think Andrew is caught up as well. So I'm going to hit play. Okay. Yeah, it's just a latency between uh, the flow, the natural flow of the conversation, and then those of us that are listening, uh, we chime in, and then the the delay between where the conversation was at the time we made the comment and then the time that it's played. So, and again, that's not a critique. That's just why it's kind of hard for, there's a disconnect. All right, we're cool. Cool. No, we understand that. We get it now. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. We appreciate that, Andrew, though. We definitely appreciate the dialogue as well in the conversation. But yes, I mean yes, and while you're here, Andrew, tell us what are your categories? Because we know y'all men got one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, so you're on the spot, Andrew. Yeah, so so the the topic is which category are you in, or what category do we put our ladies in? Meaning that when you're not married and you're dating multiple women, um, every woman doesn't get the same privilege. Every woman doesn't get all of you as if the main woman does. So that's how we even got to the whole alpha and beta thing. And I'll just do a quick recap for me. Uh, early t- young twins, when I was dating, I had a woman. I had ladies. I had a late night creep. I had the food lady. I had the um, the good wop lady. <laughs> um, had the old lady who used to buy me everything for my house. Um, 
So I had all those categories, and as far as friend, I, I don't. Anyway, if I did have a friend zone, the difference between the men's categories and the women's categories is that for me, twins. Now I can't speak for all men, but for twins, for the categories that I had, I got the same benefit from all the women, all of them. I could smash all of them. So I didn't. If I was paying this or doing that, I was getting something in return. Whereas a woman, when they had these categories. The guys can pay for the bills. The guy can take her out to eat. The guy can flow them out, whatever, but they don't get the same benefit. They all get different roles and parts of the woman. So that's how the conversation got there and how that's how we got there. So if you have a list, I mean, not saying that you mm-hmm. not saying that you do have one or you had one, but I'm just saying, you know, young, early, young twins in my twenties, I had categories where, yeah, you was only the late night creep. It is what it is. So so if you're still there, if you want to chime in, cool. If you don't, either way, I appreciate you chiming in as well. Miss I Speak Life. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Twins had a list. I I have confession, right? Uh, not really confession because I mentioned These this are before. Confession. Like, hey. oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. My bad. <laughs> so, not to the extent of categories, what we're talking, but I've definitely been in the position where. You know, when we talk about knowing in advance that you're not really interested in a particular end goal, be it, you know, a friendship, be it a relationship, be it, um, you know, marriage or just, you know, whatever. So back before 2009, November 2019, when I did not believe in marriage, you know, the relationships were long you know, long-term relationships, but the end goal for me was not married, even if the other person did desire that. So, on some level, I feel like there's that's a category. <laughs> I don't know what it would be, but I feel like that's type of that's a category. You know, because married, I've been proposed to, I've been engaged. But it's been clear that you know marriage wasn't a desire. So w- what would you call that category, twins? What as far as uh, the marriage part? Were you, um, like when you're well, technically I was still single. I wasn't married. I was in a relationship. I mean, he might have been the guy. Or maybe that's not a category. I mean, he he, he was a person. Like I said, um. The person you bring home to mama, right? The one you bring around your family. You've been around this since day one. Everybody expects y'all to be married, but she probably won't get married, whatever. That's the guy right there. He's a guy, if you, if you go on trips, whatever, like a family trips with the kids, he's the one that's going to come. He's going to be the one that he, he's the one that might get introduced to your kids, that may, may meet them, your family, right? He may be that particular guy. Well, he actually was that guy because, like I said, if he said he's going to marry you, that means y'all had relations and he met <laughs> all your family. So he was that guy. Not saying that he still is, but, I'm saying, but he was that guy. No, definitely not still is, but got you. Right. Okay, or was. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He, he He's the got one it. possibly if, if you were in the right mind or right place to be like, you know what? I can marry this guy. But he didn't give you that enough feeling like, nah, I'm not doing it. So he stayed where he was at. Well, I didn't believe in marriage. So it was just like. Mm. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. I'm okay. Gonna, go ahead. First one. All right, Andrew here. Yeah, I would think, um, Miss I Speak Life, I would say if if one willingly gets into a relationship um, and after, you know, a self-assessment after a year or two years, three years down the road, you still feel the same way at the inception of the relationship. In other words, you still don't feel like you want to marry that person then I would say that category may change. Where in the beginning you may have thought, oh, okay, well, this person's just uh, my, you know, my busset baby. He's just my my side piece. But <laughs> in under that Listen. subcategory Listen. would be some kind of security, some kind of void that's being filled by that person in the interim until you meet the additional person. So um, do you guys want to elaborate on that at all? Mm, he said it might be my busted baby. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But you're not slick, Andrew, because see, what I asked for was your categories. I did not ask you to nicely chime in <laughs> on my so-called category. Okay, Andrew, you're not slick, sir. But thank you for your comment. 
And we do appreciate it. And I don't know if we can elaborate because I think the, the well, the decision on marriage wasn't based on, you know, the person serving some unknown purpose to me or some very well, you know, some purpose to me, period. I just didn't believe in marriage. So that's why I don't know if it's actually a category or not, because there was no belief there for the end result. So, yeah. Come on, we can go ahead. Unless you have something else, we can press play. Yep, I'm going to hit play. Okay, so, um, Ms. I Speak Life, I have a question, and you don't have to answer it if you choose not to. Answer but it. I'm just a little confused. This may be a little bit too personal, <laughs> but because you put I it out there, you know, you can answer it. And if we, you know, it's a little too deep, I understand and I respect whatever decision that you make. But... I don't understand how you say you didn't want marriage, but you accepted a proposal when you know at the end of a proposal, it leads to marriage. So why accept something that you know you didn't want in the first place? That's a game. Oh, no, that's easy to answer because I answer it all the time because that's what they asked me to do. It wasn't about the marriage because we they were clear. They knew I didn't believe in marriage and they knew I never picked up a magazine. I never talked to no friends about weddings and they provided several rings, you know, but it, they were clear on the fact that the end goal was not marriage. That's something we talked about. We were friends first, so they knew it in our friendship. Then once we started dating, they knew it when we were dating. We had children. They knew it then. So it was just, you know, we could live life as, as partners. I gave them my perspective on it, and they went along with it. Um, and when they asked me to, you know, just accept it, that was for them. I did that for them. Okay. You know, this is cool. It wasn't anything real elaborate, you know, because then I would have had to say no. And when I say elaborate, like, if it was in front of my family and friends and, you know, like, we, or we if we would have had some big announcement, I would have said no. You know, so you got the static again, twins. Is it real bad on your end? Uh, I can hear it. Yeah, I don't know about real bad, but oh. it's there. The reason why my, I, so, yeah, my phone about to die, so I'm charging hands, it. Oh, okay. Hopefully the platinum hands, that answers the question. That was really just to appease them, you know, what they asked for. And that was that. It wasn't a big thing. I guess it was for them to at least feel, what's the word, twins? Like, um some sense of assurity, you know, like that I was taking a relationship serious, almost like a promise ring type of thing. Okay. But we were adults, so they, they didn't refer to it as a promise ring, you know, so, but yeah. All right, before I play, I have one quick, quick question. Uh, with the engagements that you were engaged to, did you uh, keep the rings or you gave the rings back? <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, I didn't keep the rings. Like, I still got their ring, no. I'm the type of person I'll give stuff back, but I don't even know where the rings are. Before we ended the relationship, the rings were gone. They were misplaced or things, all, all types of things happened. Okay. Um, we had lost a lot of our stuff, um, all of our jewelry and things like that. We had lost to flooding and stuff like that at one point. So, no, I don't have, I, I'm the type of person, I don't have anything, anything that could connect me any type of way to anybody that I'm not, I'm not connected to. Nothing. Anything that they gave me, they could have back or was gone. Gotcha. So, gotcha. And that includes vehicles. That's everything. All right, I'm here play. Yep, cars gotcha. too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Insert laugh out loud emoji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. I love how he's doing this. He is doing such a miss. I speak <laughs> life right now. He is pulling a me on me right now. Andrew, you like my twin, okay? Because guess what? You still have not answered my question. And I'm fully aware of that. Bum, so. bum, bum. Yeah, but you're still it. engaged. You see that? You see how you're still engaged and haven't answered the daggone thing yet? I, I see you, Andrew. But yeah, back to the conversation at hand. You know, uh... The category in terms of the wedding part, I think that, you know, it's subjective. It's going to be case by case, depends mm -hmm. on the situation, blah, blah, blah. But I don't, I don't know if this is, this should be a category or not. I'm thinking that it should, because then you have those people who just get married, right, for 
what do we say, the security, or for one of these category purposes. The marriage itself becomes that category. They're not in love or equally yoked or whatever. It just makes sense, or it's a business deal. So... No, 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 no. Maybe the maybe that's a category. It may be, but um, I think we can wrap it up here. If it, if anyone has any final statements or comments, let us know. Andrew, if you're gonna tell her your uh your categories, you know, <laughs> in in your old pimping days, or if it's still currently in your pimping days right now, we like you to know hear. he's still in his pimping days. That's why he's not <laughs> trying to tell one. He said, "I'm not incriminating myself on this show. I won't do it." He's not coming back with his categories. He might as well go ahead and wrap it up. I don't know. He went away. We'll see, though. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Real Deal versus How You Feel. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today, what, Friday? So have a great and blessed and safe weekend. Oh, we got a message. Have a blessed. Uh-oh. I know, right? We have a blessed, safe weekend. Um, I'll just throw those out there real quick. Make sure someone that, you know, that you no longer um, – or friends with anymore, or y'all fell out, just go out there and tell them, like, hey, I'm sorry, I forgive you, and keep it moving. Because people are dropping off like flies right now, and tomorrow's not promised. Life is too short, so get it right. Right, and enjoy yourself this weekend. It's Friday. Go have a good time. I'm going to play here. Safely. Safely. Go ahead, press play. Mm -hmm. I see you, Andrew. Go ahead see? and shoot your shot. Baby boy, go ahead and do that thing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How she gonna twist? She done twisted that thing around. Come on, shoot your shot. Lord have mercy. Don't that mean something else? Just let Bye, y'all. This has been a great show. We appreciate y'all for coming to join us today. The real deal versus how you feel with your girl, Miss I See Life, and my good brother and friend. Twin Zink. Twin Zink. Oh. Follow us, guys. Okay, press play. We play to see. <laughs> nah. Yes, big L in the building. You better tell him. So, I'm going on. We don't know nothing about. So Andrew, they they waiting on you, Andrew. You got two ladies in here. So they three ladies. So you got platinum hands, just Liz and Miss High Speed Life, waiting on your list. Come on, man. I can't be the only guy out there who had the list. Just saying. Hi, my, I'm well, not waiting on his list. Where my dog's at? <laughs> where my dog's at? Oh, R.I.P. R.I.P. to DMX. I know, man. Damn. Man. Dang, twins. I know. Dang. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like we were just talking about DMX. I know. But maybe not. All right, we're going to wrap so it up sad. then. We're going to get about it out of here, man. Yeah. Angie, hey, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, people. 3 p.m. Eastern time. Tune in. Thanks for everyone tuning in today. Have a great weekend. We out. Bye. Bye-bye.